Hello friends, this video on triangles part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 10. Let's do some activity for converse of internal bisector theorem. So let's draw these two lines, one angle and these points. Once we have these points, what we'll do, I'll just add, uh, join these points. Now, here's a trick. If you see this, this point which I have drawn, here the angle is not equal. So this point when I drew, I assume that, so let's suppose this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, this is 11. And this is here again 9, I think. So this is x, this is y. So I found this point actually such that x by y is equal to 11 by 9. Once I found this point, I drew this line. Here, this angle is equal to this angle, I don't know. Right, I don't know. Here, it's converse actually. Here, I found this point first, such that x by y is equal to 11 by 9. And then, you see this, I have to prove that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Here, it's other way around. We have to prove that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Right. To prove what we will do, we will just take the compass and we will observe. So what we will observe? In any such case, we will observe that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Because this is activity, you have everything in your hand. You can directly measure the angle and see. So what we have done huh, here, we have drawn this angle A, B, this, this lines we have drawn. We have joined this point B, C. And then we have derived this point D in such a way that x by y is equal to 11 by 9. Once we have got this point D, we have drawn this line AD. And then we observe that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. In case of angle bisector activity, we have drawn this angle such that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. And then we have seen that x by y is equal to 11 by 9. In this case, it's other way around. We have found this point D such that x by y is equal to 11 by 9. And then we have observed that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Converse of Internal angle bisector theorem. In the triangle ABC, if D is a point on BC such that D divides BC in ratio AB is to AC, then AD is the bisector of angle. This is converse internal angle theorem. Let's take this. This is triangle ABC. And AD is a point on BC such that AD is a point on BC such that AB by AC, that is AB by AC is equal to BD by BC. That is given. If this is the case, then AD has to be the angle bisector of angle A. To prove this, let's extend this AB, extend this, and then we take the compass and make sure that A is equal to AC. If this is the point A, Sorry. Yes. So we have drawn this point. We have measured this AC, right? Let's suppose AC is X units, right? Same unit X you draw here. You got this point A. You got this point, right? So you, you draw the same X unit. You got this point E here. And then you join this. That's what we have done here. What we have done? We have extended this line. Correct. We measured AC, the same value we have drawn, cut this here, we got A, this point E, and then we drawn this. So what we have, we have two things, that is AB by AC is equal to BD by DC, and also we are told that AC is equal to A. Right? So if AC is equal to A, this angle is equal to 1, and this angle is equal to 2. So that is angle 1 is equal to angle 2. This is given to us. What do you have to prove? We have to prove that, so let's suppose this angle is 3 and this angle is less 4. So we have to prove that angle 3 is equal to angle, correct? That's all given, nothing more. Now, since AB, now I'll prove here, since AB by AC is equal to BD by DC, correct? AC is also equal to A, or we can say that AB by AE 
is equal to BC by DC. So in this triangle, if you see EDV in triangle EBC actually, we can see that AB this value by AE this value is equal to PD by DC. Correct? So that means using the Thales theorem, we can say that AD is parallel to C. So we can say that AD is parallel to CE. Why we wanted to do that? Because we wanted to develop a relation between 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. Similar to, done, to one which we have done in the last example. Now, since we have proved that AD is parallel to CE now, so we can prove that 3 is equal to angle 2. Angle 3 is equal to angle 2. Why? Corresponding angle. Right? Now angle 3 is equal to angle 2. Also angle 4 is equal to angle 1. Why? Alternate angle. Because AD is parallel to C now. Correct. Now 3 is equal to 2 and 4 is equal to 1. We know 3 is equal to 4. Sorry, we know 1 is equal to 2. Since 1 is equal to 2 given, so 3 is equal to 4. Therefore, 3 is equal to 4. And that's what we are supposed to do. So if 3 is equal to 4, that means AD is the angle bisector of the angle A. That is angle BAC. So what we have done here, very simple, we have got this triangle. We were told that AD is such that, D is such that, AB by AC is equal to BD by DC. We constructed this A such that A is equal to AC. Right? And then we have seen that this applies from the Thales theorem, we can prove that AD is parallel to C. Since AD is parallel to C, we can prove that 4 is equal to 2 and 3 is equal to 1. Right? And since 1 was equal to 2, we can say that 3 is equal to Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.